here from Daphne Sense. Thank you to all of you who are here with me today watching my videos. For those who are new on my channel, welcome and I hope you enjoy all my videos. Remember to like, share and subscribe to my channel. As you see right now, here we have embeds for my upcoming soap and uh, it's a Mickey Mouse Clubhouse Christmas theme. I asked my two boys on the spectrum what soap mommy should make next and they both are obsessed with Mickey Mouse but this time they say Christmas theme so today I'm going to show you or try to show you how I made this embed with soap dough okay so since this soap is gonna, this video is gonna be a bit longer let's begin I'm going to place this here in the back and I'm going to grab my black soap dough and I hate doing this with my gloves because it's so sticky sometimes <laughs> although I'm making the embeds I don't know when I'm going to be able to um, do the actual soap and it's because I'm waiting for my order to get here I just ordered yesterday so I don't know how long it's gonna take because I wanna make this soap with a, a specific um, fragrance oil. So I have to wait. And I'm running out of colors. I'm running out of um, fragrance. So I have to wait. I hate waiting. I'm such an impatient person. And the wait always kills me. But nothing I can do have to wait okay so now i'm just going to grab my real my little rolly and i'm just rolling rolling this black dough and the white stuff are cornstarch to prevent for it to stick while i'm working so i don't have a round surface surface so what I'm going to do, I'm, gra I'm going to grab the top of one of my uh, glitters. And I'm just going to place it here. Nope. Oh, I'm making the head. For the head, I'm going to grab a tip from Wilton. This is, I don't know if you can see, B6 from a uh, Wilton section. And I'm just going to... And it's right here and I'm just going to tap 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 until it comes down sometimes go easy but of course now I'm making the video now and it's not going to go easy okay so here we already have the part of the head for the other part the other ears I'm going to grab I have this I got it from Brambleberry is this fragrance and you know brambleberry always give you like little uh, samples and that's what I'm going to use for this because like I say I don't have a round surface so now I'm going to grab my little tool in here and I'm just going to go all around this that I just made Like I say, I'm, I don't complicate myself. I, I try to do everything with what I have. 90% of my video, you know, I use my edit editor or whatever, but I could call my videos raw. Like as soon as I finish this, I just probably just go ahead and just post it. Okay, so we have already the head and the ears of our Mickey Mouse. Now, I'm going to grab my red dough and I'm just going to start mushing this up like so until it's good enough for me to use it. I think this is the hardest time process of this soap making with soap dough actually and I run into a ball 
I already have a little bit of uh, cornstarch in the bottom, so I'm just going to grab a little bit more for my red. And I'm going to push like this, and I'm going to start rolling and rolling my dough. Okay, once that's done, I'm going to grab this in here. And now I'm going to use this. And that's going to be what I'm going to use to make my bigger um, round. This is the house. Sorry guys, I'm blocking you. I need to see what I'm doing. I'm still not good at this video making thing. And should go right out and here's our house okay now we are just doing the easiest details and i mean we're gonna get a little bit more detail of what we're doing okay so bear with me oh. okay so now i'm just going to mush this up again this is my blue and this is going to be the slide of the clubhouse. Let me fix my gloves again. And I just need a little piece for this. Put some on my glove because... Okay, so now... I just gonna take a little bit out of there. Now I'm just going to do this and make like a long, you know what? And make like a long. I need to take my gloves off for this. Now I'm going to continue doing this until I see it of the side I want it to be. I'm gonna put my little. Okay. I'm gonna do this because I wanted to get to long and then I will have to cut it and it might mess with my design that I have already made here. Okay, excuse my nails. I haven't done my manicure in like two weeks so huh. almost perfect just need to put a little piece in here okay so that will stay just fixing the edges here so that will stay like that and I'm just gonna help it get here how I want it to look like I'm gonna put this over here to help it keep the shape okay now for the shoe once again I always forget this stuff for the shoe oh are you serious oh here it is okay never mind for the shoe I'm going to grab my gold. I could make yellow, but I'm going to be honest with you, I do not have any yellow. I bought so much stuff last time that I was like, you know what? I don't need anything for a while. That, that didn't happen. I'm down to the wire. So I don't have yellow. So, But gold is pretty, so that will, mm, that will do. Gonna turn my heater. I'm in my soap room, and remember, guys, I told you in the last video that I had to buy a um, mini portable heater. Yeah, I did. I was freezing my bottom in here. Okay, so I'm gonna do the same thing. I'm not perfect making stuff like on my own. So when I do it and it comes right at first, 
it has to be that way the next time because it's not gonna happen so what I did I made my shoe here and I'm going to use this one where I make it the first time as a temple template for it so here's my tool and I just gonna go around this and over here and there you are art shoe okay so I think we have all the pieces we need for this soap okay so now I just spray 91% alcohol so I can clean this area real quick because now we don't need cornstarch and I hate to work with that cornstarch I'm gonna take these cloths off real quick and I'm going to grab my other gloves and I'm going to put them on okay so this is a soap Do you guys know that I have a soap where I see what I have to you know to make it work the size and everything for the soap so here is the other one that I have so I'm going basically to make a line here that will guide me for where do I have to cut this of this soap okay so I just grab my little um, and I cut it okay so now that done we're going to grab our white where is my white soap though? Okay. And the white is gonna give us our what's the name? Snow. Okay. So here's my white soap though. And I'm going to do the same thing I did with the other ones. I'm going to smush, mush, mush this. With I'm running out of white and my soap room is so cold that my soap too is getting so cold it's such a hard time to work with it but I still wanted to show you I'm supposed to make I'm lying I was supposed to make soap though like two weeks ago and I'm just too lazy to do it so I'm just going to continue smooshing mushing my soap though here oh my god it's so hard and we only need a little bit of this soap though so that's why i'm just using a little piece okay since this is already done yeah it looks much enough okay so we'll smoosh it out and we're gonna use a little bit more Hopefully, I won't turn it black or any other color since I already used this for the other colors. I should have done the white first. Oh, yeah, it's Daphne. It's me. So. And I did put some black though in here. Yeah. Trying to get out all the excess of. Oh no, I just put red on it. Oh, Jesus, I'm so clumsy. Okay, so. I'm gonna grab my black here. And I'm just going to. Do this. Oh, 
sorry I'm going to do this real quick and I'm going to show you why so I already got my white and since both are the same size sorry I'm just trying to get all the dough the cornstarch out of here because make it difficult for me with my gloves okay so now we have this and once again take out my gloves sorry guys okay so now I have this in here and I'm going to make my snow and I'm just basically just doing this like little weird lines like that and this is going to be in the top of our ears okay so now we have both of them we're gonna do the same thing for the top of our other part and we're gonna grab our friendly tip that we have in here and we're going to do the same thing on this one okay so I'm just gonna go in here and I'm gonna do weird lines like this and that should be enough that's going to be the top of the other one and we are going to do the same thing for a little boot but this has to be any perfect because the boot is not too big either so I'm just going to grab in And we can fix it later we cut it okay so that been done I'm gonna flip over my gloves so this side with the other things are not there and I'm able to work with it okay so now we are going to grab a water this you know, I use test your water not tap water never use tap water for this and I just want to make sure I don't break it water on this side over here so my camera will focus okay Turn it around, put it here, and we're gonna break that in there. But this is just the demo that I'm doing to show you guys. Okay, so here is one of our ears, and we're going to do the same exact thing with it with the other one. Uh, impossible work with me. Okay. And I'm trying to go as fast as I can guys so I don't keep you here forever I did say the video was going to be long though <laughs> okay so we just keep placing the water in here we put it in here and then we press in there and then we do the same thing with our boot or his shoes or whatever he I think it's boots he's using boots ah. ah perfect later when this is already dry a little bit we just cut it okay now that, that is done is coming the painting time super easy like I say, I don't complicate myself doing complicated stuff because why? So much easy when you're able to do easy stuff and they came out gorgeous. Okay, so I have here. This is the same one I was using earlier. This is just 
black oxidite and I'm using black iron oxidite from nurture I love this oxidite so easy to use it and with a really really top tip of my um, pencil I just going to this is the hardest part for me because I always shaking So making these little lines for me is always, always a hard time. So now I'm just finishing here. <laughs> My room is really cold, so it's not helping. It's drying super fast. Okay, so those black lines are going to act like our, where the lights are on, the little cable for the lines, the light, not the lines, the light. Okay, here's one. And here is the other one. Can you see? Okay. I'm like asking you, like, you can. Oh, Jesus. Something else. Okay, there he is. This one is pronounced a little bit better than the other ones. Okay, there he is. Oh my God. I'm so silly. Sorry, guys. I forgot. I have to make. The white for the house. Oh, Jesus. It's gonna be easy though because we already know what to do. I'm like, I'm missing something. What do I'm missing? Yes, lady, you are missing the white for the house. Let me finish this real quick and I come back. Okay, guys, so we're back. And I went ahead and cleaned this area here because for some reason you could not see. Okay, so now we're going to do the same thing. We're gonna make our weird lines like they are snow. Stay still. <laughs> Sorry, doesn't want to stay still. Let me do this this way. Sorry, guys, so you guys can see. Okay. So here it is. We finish our lines. Here's our house. Now we grab our water. Turn this over. And we just place it here. And we grab our black. Now I need to put more rolling alcohol in here. And now I'm going to grab a little bit. Same way I did with the other ones. Now I'm just going to grab here. Trying to make my lines again. We have a lot of corn stars, so that's why also the cornstone dry the um, the alcohol so that's why it's so difficult to do okay so we have this one and we have to finish the second one we're just going to handle it like this because it's a lot of cornstarch and it's drying it so quick oops that was too big Okay, now I'm going to put that aside. What we're going to do next is the easiest part of the whole thing. We are going to make the light. 
So you're gonna grab all the colors you want I'm using neon red, I'm using green, I'm using blue, and I'm using gold right here. here. Okay. Let's see if I can do can do this real quick with the tape like this, which you can find those on Amazon. They're really <clears throat> sorry. They're really easy to find. I just make little dots on my dough, like so. And those are gonna be our lights. You don't have to use the same colors I'm using. You can use any color you want. I'm just doing this to easy and faster. The colors I have on him when I start the video, so. I use purple and I use pink and the other one. And just So you can use any color you want so you're going to go ahead clean your tool if you don't it's gonna be a mess and you already work too hard to make this you don't want to mess it up okay so I'm going to grab some red here and I'm going to use a little of that here a little of that in here See what I mean of how fast it dries? It dries pretty fast. Okay, now I'm going to grab my blue. And I'm going to do the same thing. Rubbing alcohol is your best friend while painting with micas and stuff like that. Now I'm going to grab my blue here. And we are done with this one. I'm going to grab a blue in here. Hope you guys can see it. I'm not blocking you. Well, let me grab it like this. I feel like I'm a blocking you from you guys seeing come on blue in here now I'm going to go uh, here see why I don't like to make videos of me making my embeds I'm a mess I'm a total mess. Oh, it's driving me insane. It got dry again, sorry guys. And there and there. I don't want it to look too much going on. Okay, so now you're going to grab your black oxalite which where it's at, it's right here. You're going to grab your 91% rubbing alcohol and you're going to paint your work like this. You don't have to do it. I like to do it because we already were using um, cornstarch and cornstarch gets everywhere and you know if they don't really let see the um, finished product of what you're making because obviously they're white and they're not supposed to look that way so I like to paint all my stuff after um you know after I'm doing my things you're gonna grab the same thing you already clean your tool always clean them 
rubbing alcohol. I'm going to grab a little bit right from the actual bottle. And I'm going to paint my dough like red like the house because the actual house is really red and i'm trying to kind of make it look like it so okay so here we are we have made all the little details of our house now we need to work on our swing. So for the swing, all I have to do is I'm gonna grab my same tool and I'm going to do this to make the lines. of this swing all over my dough. I want it to be a little bit deep because I will paint this again you know to give a little bit character to my little swing here perfect Check this out real quick here. Okay, perfect. Just want to make sure all my soaps are this side. So I like to make sure that it actually will fit on my soap when I'm going to make it. Okay. So now I'm going to wear a little bit blue because it's gonna dry real quick like it's already drying and I'm just going to paint this real quick here you can paint it as much as you want you can make it look a little bit less blue it's all except to you what do you like okay so we finished that you're going to grab your black oxidizer again because I made lines between lines oh, you're already making a mess in here okay so now I'm going to grab this and I'm going to make like little lines in here Just make it show a little bit more. And there it is. Okay, so now I'm going to move all this because it's one more thing we need to fix, which is the easiest thing of the whole soap. We're going to grab our boot like I say, we'll fix it afterwards and I'm just going to cut here and here and here and with any tool clay tool you have you can always smooth the edges like this I know they are really detail works but they look gorgeous afterwards and I'm I really like what I do I wouldn't choose to anything else you know it's amazing when people tell you how pretty your work looks because you know how much time and effort 
you put into your work. Not only soaps, whatever thing you do. And then I grab my gold mica. Oh, this mica dries so fast. And I grab my gold mica right here. And I'm going to paint my boot. My boots is too cute. Paint, paint, paint. Real quick. Done. Okay. Now we're gonna put this together. You're going to grab your black soap dough, and you only need a little piece of it. I'm going to take my glove out for this. That's why I want to take too long. I don't know how many minutes this video is. Okay, so I'm going to grab like this mush and I'm going to mush it like this so it look about that mush and then I grab one and you're gonna do two now what you're going to do you're gonna make these two spaces so you can put it together so it's easier for you to move it around when you have to make this soap. And I'm just gonna do this. So there you have one. And there you have two. Now's the tricky part. You have to do something about like this on your soap though. And then you have to grab water and you're going to basically glue this like this, try to do it in the middle right there you have one and you're going to do the same thing in this one here So you got one, and then you have to swish around, and you're going to do two. And there you got it. Okay. Where is my, okay. With the little one, since it's a really tiny part that you have to paint, you're gonna grab your thing, your black oxidize, and you're gonna go here. And you're just going to paint it to look at, to make it look so much better. Everything looks so much better after you paint them. And over here, I'm gonna grab this here. And I'm gonna make a quick shadow. And here I'll do the same thing. It's a quick shadow. I don't know, I think it looks so much better when you do shadows like that or they give it so much character to the to whatever you're doing. Now can I grab blue? This part is so tricky. I hate it. Oh, you know what? No. I already make it right here. So I already kind of know the size of what we're going to be making. We're going to be making this part here. So here's one. And then here is two. And it's still a cricket, but... It looks good. It looks good. Don't have to be perfect. You're doing it. My husband always say that oh, the whole point of homemade is not perfection, but unique. And I live by that rule. 
that perfection unique okay so now I'm going to place this one here using a little bit of help from my little thing here and I place the other one here this one I think have to be a little bit more separated oh yeah perfect with my black I grab a little bit of water and I brush out most of the black that I have on my brush just going to go right here and then I grab my black here is showing I want to look like the shadow of the window perfect and here you have our mini Ma Mickey Mouse club house so though Christmas theme. This is supposed to be up like this. There you have it. Super simple, super cute to make. I love it. My kids, <laughs> my kids love it is there who told me how to make them i always ask them and they are so smart i love them okay so here you have it i hope you enjoy it i hope you make make you make something like it there you are simple easy cute fast if you do it on your own, if you're making a video like me, it's gonna take forever, like you just did right now. But I really hope you guys like it. It's all made from scratch, all made by yourself. And I'm 100% sure everyone is gonna love it if you make it. Okay, so once again, thank you so much. Thank you for watching. I appreciate the time you take to watch all my videos. Thank you so much. Remember to like, share, and subscribe to my channel so you can see more of my videos. And I don't have anything else to say. Remember to follow me, Instagram, Facebook, Twitter, all the fun stuff. That's how the soap is going to be looking soon. So I see you guys in the next one. Thank you so much. And bye-bye. I see you when it's time to make this soap. Or I made another soap. I don't know. I'll see you guys. Bye-bye. Thank you.